And they all die, yep. What? I'm coming you. Who? No shot, bucko. No shot. What? Bro, they're not dying. What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day. And if you guys are not having a good day, hopefully this video will make your day a little bit better. And yeah, I'm really excited because we finally get to use, again, my favorite weapon in Warzone slash Cold War. And it's the Fair 83, bro. So this weapon actually caught a buff. The recoil pattern got adjusted and the hit spread got decreased, but it doesn't matter, bro, because the recoil pattern got adjusted. The only problem I had with this gun was at range, it wasn't always good. You know, like long, like super long range. I'm not talking about like long range. I'm talking about like super, super long range. And now, since it got buffed now far away i get the laser kids across the map bro so that's the why i really enjoy this gun a lot more now fair 83 i'm gonna show you guys the best class of the floor this gun at first wasn't exactly the greatest at long range and now it's like very very good this gun doesn't move at all i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that with the class of the but yeah make sure you guys drop in that like button subscribe if you guys are new hit notifications follow me on twitter follow me on twitch all of my socials in the description below let's get right into it okay first attack we gotta put the freaking suppressor on man just a regular suppressor ever since it got buffed you know we don't really need the monolithic slash agency suppressor you really do not need them in suppressor is good enough for bullet velocity aim down sight speed you know sprint the fire speed this is the best attachment the suppressor buff really made it so you don't need the other suppressor for the barrel we got the liberator barrel now i usually do run takedown a lot now i was looking at the damage it, it goes up but the range goes down at the same time but when you put liberator on range goes up a lot you guys see that and since this gun has no recall now this is the perfect attachment for the pharaoh you can have damage right but if your range goes down, there's really no point of, you know, using the ferret. It's an assault rifle. You got to have really good kills at very long ranges. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to have easy kills at long ranges. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, Liberator Barrel, 100%. And then for the Under Barrel, we got Spesnaz Grip. This literally maximizes your recoil control to the max potential it can ever have, bro. This is the best attachment for no recoil across the map. I'm telling you right now. This is a really good attachment as well. If you guys want to just run foregrip, you guys don't have that many attachments, just run this. But Spesnaz Grip, this is like a beamer. Like, people are going to think you're hacking when you put this on this is like a hacking type of or aimbot type of setup especially after the buff man just make sure your gun does not move one inch ammunition we run 45 round speed mags now if you're feeling oh you want to take on multiple enemies put on 60 round mags now the only bad thing about that is you sacrifice mobility with that that's the only reason why i don't run 60 round mag so 45 round speed mag you sacrifice mobility but not as much as when you put on 60 round mag so 45 is definitely a little better and then for the rear grip we got on spesnaz grip I've been seeing, you know, some people running optic on the Farah. Honestly, I don't think it's needed in my opinion. But if you guys want to run an optic, um, I would say either run the Axial, the Cronin. Yeah, the Cronin site. That's a good site as well. But yeah, Axial Arms, it got nerfed and everything. But yeah, if you guys want to run a site on the Farah, run that for sure. I don't need a site for the Farah. I, I don't need it personally. They don't talk about this gun that much. This gun's actually a slapper. Yeah, try my cluster up. Let me know what you guys think about it. And yeah, I'll see you guys do a game. Hey, Patrick. What? I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. DV uploading on time. <laughs> Battle Royale. Gas is closing on your position. Suggest you get moving. Oh, I never get tired of that. Yo, let me know in the comment section what's your favorite weapon uh, to use at the moment because I know the meta got a huge change in Warzone for sure. Yeah, I've been seeing some people using like different uh, setups a lot, like the Ram 7, PPSH, Mac 10s again. Yeah, I'm really liking the meta right now. It's like really, really good. It used to be only Amaxes and now it's like, it's different now. Amax used to be such a crutch too. It, it pissed me off too. Like, I used to die to Amax all the time. Nobody here, bro. Literally, like, nobody here. Ooh, I, I'll take that card. I'll take that. God, bro. He kind of scared me a little bit. I'm not even going to cut. He kind of scared me a little bit. All right, we almost have enough for a loadout. I cannot wait to use a Pharaoh, bro. This this thing is so fun to use, too. Car right near me. Enemy UAV overhead. You've got a loadout drop inbound. Oh, my face. close. I ain't even going to lie. That made me nervous as hell, man. Guy near me. Uh, he went in this building, I think. Oh, what the? Bro, are you serious? I didn't even hear it. I bet you so many of y'all watching this video. I bet y'all, not even so many. I bet you some of y'all that watch this video, man. I bet y'all like heard it and then like, bro, they're probably like, Devi, what are you doing? Bro, I didn't even hear that joint, to be honest. 
to earn your freedom, soldier. Oh, he got smoke. What are you doing? Oh, what's up with my game, bro? I'm in it like a whole, whole another universe. Or something. What the hell was that? Ah, fuck. Where you going, homie? Where you going? Where you going? Trying a little too hard, man. You gotta shut that down. There you are. I don't know what that guy was doing on the train, but okay. Right, let's get this load out real quick. If I can climb up here, what? Lucky for us, there's literally a freaking buy station right in front of us as we kill the bounty, so that's literally perfect timing. Whoops. Oh, right here. Let's see what's going on over there. Let's see. Nah! Almost had me, but not quite. Bang. Uh. Be advised, Look. I mean, he tried to ego challenge me, I mean, that's what happens. How did I survive that? How did I survive that? I don't know. I got so lucky right there, bro. I don't even know how I survived that, to be honest. I thought I was 100% gone. Should I get a gas mask? Let me get a gas mask. Oh, shit. Oh, bro. I get a gas mask, then I'm gonna get a UAV. Alright. Over. Oh, you dead? Yeah. No, I knew it. I knew it. Well, exactly why I didn't challenge him. Enemy precision airstrike, take cover. What are you doing, bro? Come on, that is some bull. I'm camping there. Good shit, bro. This is over there. Ah! I'm out.